officer-involved shooting that occurred on July 25, 2022 at 8008 Herb Kelleher Way, Dallas Love Field Airport. This is the third officer-involved shooting involving a Dallas police officer in 2022. Body-worn camera video will be shown at the end of this presentation. On July 25, 2022, at 10.57 a.m., Portia Adufua, 37, arrived at Dallas Love Field Airport and exited a red Kia sedan. The preliminary investigation shows Adufua entered the terminal and walked into the restrooms. At 11.04 a.m., the suspect leaves the restrooms wearing a black hoodie with the hood over her head and her hands in the front pockets. The suspect walks from the bathroom to the Southwest Airlines ticket area and says she has an announcement to make. Witnesses say Adufua starts to ramble, talking about marriage, incarceration, and then said she was going to blow up the airport and pulls a gun from her sweatshirt. At 11.06.44, she pointed the gun towards the ceiling and fired two rounds. Officer Ronald Cronin, a 15-year veteran of the Dallas Police Department, was in the immediate area and engaged Adufua, giving her verbal commands to drop the weapon. At 11.06.50 a.m., Adufua pointed her gun at Officer Cronin and an innocent bystander. At 11.06.51, Officer Cronin, taking cover behind a ticket kiosk, fired his department-issued weapon, hitting the suspect multiple times. The shots fired caused the suspect to fall to the ground and drop the weapon. Officer Cronin held his position and other DPD officers arrived to take a Dufua into custody. The shots fired caused the suspect to fall to the ground and drop her weapon. Officer Cronin held his position and other DPD officers arrived to take a Dufua into custody. Officers started first aid and called Dallas Fire Rescue for assistance. A Dufua was transported to a local hospital for treatment. While processing the scene, law enforcement found rounds from a Dufua's weapon showing she shot at Officer Cronin. She has been charged with aggravated assault against a public servant. Additional charges are possible. Officer Cronin held his position and other DPD officers arrived to take a Dufua into custody. Officers started first aid and called Dallas Fire Rescue to assist. A Dufua was transported to a local hospital for treatment. While processing the scene, law enforcement found rounds from a Dufua's weapon showing she shot at Officer Cronin. She has been charged with aggravated assault against a public servant. Additional charges are possible. The Dallas Police Department's Special Investigations Unit responded and continues to investigate the incident. The Dallas County District Attorney's Office responded and is conducting an independent investigation as well. The Dallas police were assisted at the scene by the FBI and the ATF. In an effort to be transparent, the Dallas Police Department is releasing the body-worn camera footage of the incident.
Stay down. That the shooter? Yeah, I see. Stay there. See, that was 301. Right there, that ball got one down. Show us your hands. Put your hands out where we can see them. Stay down, Stay right there. Stay right there. Don't move. Don't move. Back up. Hey, back, back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. We got it. And we hold. We hold. We'll hold. hold what we got. Hold what we got. Don't move. Stay there. Get back. Get back. We got DFR coming. Okay, we just have to. Okay. So, who, who do you want to go? Hold on. Hey. Stay there. What are you doing? Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Give me two. Give me two, give me two, give me two. Uh, you gonna pull? Hold on. Hey, hey, who's got gloves? Who's got gloves? Last five. Watch the last five. Watch the last five. Are you guys good? Stay right, stay right. Stay back. Stay there. Stay there. Stop going. Give me a second. The script. Thank you. 